Hi, um, so today we're going to show you how to make a chart like this that contains genes um, across different species and their gene similarity using the JGI database. Um, the IMG Integrated Microbial Genomes Database brought to you by the Joint Genome Institute. So um, we're going to show just how to set up a, a very simple chart like this. So it just involves blasting using IMG. Um, so the first step um, it's getting the genome cards. So for this um, tutorial we're just we're going to show how to compare one gene. So that'd be uh, one column of this chart. Um, and our gene is going to be NIFH, a nitrogen fixation gene. So you usually want to have one reference genome um, to compare all your other genes against. So our reference genome is going to be Klebsiella oxytoca. Um, so all of these species here, they're uh, plant-associated bacteria. And um, we just selected these genes, um, genomes through the genome search and just did a simple search for whatever we were interested in. So um, now that we have our genome cart with six genomes, we want to find the gene, um, our NIFH gene. So type in NIFH into your gene search. And we're going to only look in Klebsiella. So you need to add that to your selected genomes. And with good luck, it will be just one gene that turns up. And yes, it's one gene, NIFH. So this is the one we want to compare. So we want to have it with us at all times during the session. So let's add it to our gene cart. OK. Now we can do a comparison. So what you want to do is go ahead and Scroll to the bottom of the gene page, click IMG, Genome Blast, and all the genomes that we had in our cart are now here. And you can choose whether you want to do protein blasts or nucleotide blasts. We're going to do protein, and we're going to have a pretty generous E value, and run blast. So this should be pretty fast. So it's telling you right now there's multiple hits. So we're going to have to make a judgment call here about which one we want. So you can help me choose which mm -hmm. one. Um, so now that we have it, um, well, before we do that, let's set up our chart now that we have the blast done. So do that. OK, so this is the genome cart. Um, just going to make a chart. So it's um, a lot of people may not realize this, but it's really easy to make. Um, you don't have to type up the chart from scratch. You can just export all your genomes to a table, and then you can have all your names right there. Let's see. Okay, so here they are, the names of our genomes. So that makes it really nice and easy. Um, so there's the study name and the genome name. Um, which one do you want to use? This one, then. Mm. Oh, maybe this one. Okay, yeah. this one. Okay. Um, and I don't know, maybe you wanted to keep the taxon ID. I don't know. Uh, okay, so then these are the genomes. Um, Let's put our reference at the top. So this one? OK. So cut and paste. OK, here it is. Um, and if H is what we're doing, H, we want to italicize because it's a gene. Um, OK, so now, now we can go back to our BLAST results. Here they are. So now we can fill in the chart. So the first one on our list would be Klebsiella. OK, so Klebsiella, it's obviously 100% to itself. Um, OK, Brady rhizobium, let's see. So you want to filter Brady rhizobium. Okay. OK, so we had two results. 
Um, nice. The, the best one would be the one with the O. That means it's orthologous. And it's also a really high percentage, 75. Okay, so go ahead and add that to your chart. Um, okay. What was next? I forgot. Melody. Uh, okay. This one? Okay. Okay, and then if I made him. Okay, then go on. Okay. Yeah, this one was kind of interesting. It's like uh, different genes. Must have been like a gene duplication event. They're like almost identical. So there are two copies of the same gene in the genomes? I think so. Or it's the same. Huh. What do you think? What is the difference between these genes, this one, and this is incomplete one? So this is not completely annotated? Um, it actually means um, they didn't. the sequences are very different. That's what it means. So the green indicates how similar. Like, once you align the two sequences on top of each other, this says how many of the amino acids were similar. So yeah. it shows that only a couple at the beginning were very similar. Yeah. yeah. So you mean this is all of these are different copies of the same genes in the genomes? Um, these two, yes. And this also? I think these, they seem to be different because they're different lengths. Yeah. And are also very different, like only 38% similar. And this is not uh, written here in FH, but here? Yeah. No. So no. maybe this is something else? Yeah, these are very uh, cellular synthase. Yeah, this I think yeah. so. I think so. And I think you, you can check too. Um, so you can like compare the the domains. Good term. So this is the NIF age. It's supposed to look like this. So if you look at like the other one. The other one. It's very to look at the protein family. Yeah, it's cellulose biosynthesis protein. Mm -hmm. This is something completely different. Yeah, completely different. Yeah. But it still has nitrogenes, yeah. Oh, it does? Let's see. Where? Oh, the other one. Okay. Oh. This is the other one, right? Mm -hmm. This is the first this is one. The original. So, yeah, so I think this is our uh, gene mm -hmm. of interest. Okay, gene of interest. Um, so, yeah, so yeah. And this is for Phimatum. Oh, we already have Okay, leguminarsum. Okay. Okay, this is what do you do here? We have Oh we have to Yeah, neither of them actually look like NIF H. So in such case what we uh, can do for search for the NIF H. Of course in uh Rhizobia has NIF H. Has to, yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe this uh, strain that we selected not completely annotated. Mm. So uh, we have to change in this such case if we face the pro we if we face this problem we have to uh, change the strains. Oh yeah, we maybe we should yeah. Okay, we should change the strain. So we'll have yeah, a so we can come this. back to it. Yeah. Or maybe remove yeah. Okay. Um. We'll do alhagi first, yeah. and then we'll go back and find a different rhizobium. Oh, this is also problematic. Yeah, so we have the same problem in oh. these ki two kind of strains. But I wonder if it was just annotated incorrectly. Let's check. Okay. Yeah. Nah, not no charging at all. Nah. What is the annotation? The family. So you listen. Yeah, I think this is something. This is annotated, oh. right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But this is weird. Uh, we can uh, shake the neighborhood because it should be NIF H beside NIF D, NIF D, and then uh, oh, NIF K. Okay. So we can check. So this is NIF. No. Nope. I don't see any. Yeah. Okay. I think this may be false annotated. Yeah. I th um, I think it's not that it's false annotated because the, the name doesn't even say it's similar. It says chromosome partitioning protein. Yeah. So it's not mis annotated. I think we'll just have to try another one. Another strain is for uh, for mesorhizobium and rhizobium. Yeah. So we'll do another one. So 
We'll have to update our genome card. You can search for complete, full. Or I have another idea. Okay. Um, okay, we'll do NIF H. NIF H. Okay, it's going to search across all data, the whole database. And then we'll do okay, that did not work. Uh, I know I'm like you may not. Okay, we yeah. found a let's go another two. This is better. Yeah, this one. This one? Yeah, I think we can. Okay, let's have now we need to find another miso rhizobium though. I need to add this to my genome card, not my gene card. Okay. Um. Mm. Or maybe just try Misa Rizobi. Anything full? Mm. This one? Yeah. Let's try. Now we updated our genome. Mm -hmm. Part. Yeah, yeah, now we have eight. eight. So. And you have to delete the other uh, two? Or we don't need. Or we can just um, not okay. include it in the blast. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just only do the ones we added. These, these two. Wait, okay. was it this one or this one? This one, huh? Yeah. Okay. Ah, much better. Yeah, here they are, the first two. Okay. So the Gimenasarum. And we still keep uh, our Clipzilla in the reference? Yeah, it's still the reference. It's yeah. still, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so that's it. Oops. Yeah. Uh, that's that's one column. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you have time to go to another gene like N F D. Oh. Uh, uh, fine. Uh, we can do N F D. I think that's that, that's it. Okay. So now we have that. Uh, let me just fix the genome card then. I think you, you removed it. Oh, it's one of the. I know, we, we're not so. This is so, one. this is one. We need to remove this one. Yes, oh. exactly. Okay. So now in the gene card we have the different genes. We have to select just one. Mm -hmm. Yep, just one. Yes. 
stuck to the right one, right? I think I just did this H again. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, I just did this H again. Mm -hmm. Oops. I think the first thing we, we have to uh, remove this, uh, the other one, or just we need we can keep all of this and just uh, run blast against the uh, each one individual, mm. like that one. So this is nif nif D now, right? D, yeah, yeah. It's better to keep them. So we do the Ovium Hipponicum, 70. Yeah, and all these, the names look good. Nitrogenase, nitrogenase. Yeah. Um, it's 100. Okay, we can fill it uh, now, and then we have the Excel sheet. So mm -hmm. just one question, we can revise it, uh, we mentioned it in a previous video, but mm -hmm. we can mention it fastly now about the neighborhood, if we need to compare the different neighborhood mm -hmm. from these genes. So how we can... Uh, compare the neighborhoods? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So now we have the numbers and we have the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So we can sh how we can show the neighborhood? Okay, uh, yeah. So now... We can't. It's very easy because they're all in our genome cart. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, we need to add. We need to add all the genes to our gene cart, though. The ones to, we the gene, to the gene cart. So that we can compare neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so six. Yeah. But be careful. We have the nif H also, and uh, another yeah. gene we have C. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, I have to so remove, remove them. Four clipsilla. These two. Yeah, these two. Yeah, so now we have just an FD for the six genomes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you can choose uh, one of these. I'll just do this one. There's a difference between the two options? I don't know. It's okay. a difference, but I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, The difference is right here. Plus strain is always left to right on top. So the, our all the genomes here, right? We can uh, select the arrangement for them, so we can start with to what our uh, our reference g genomes in the first, or not? To arrangement. Oh, again. the re Ooh, I don't know. If, I don't think you can. Yeah. Yeah, they don't. They didn't give me the option. This is supposed to be the reference. Yeah. Yeah, it's at the top, and they only put five per page, so the. So no resobium got left behind. So yeah. <laughs> so I have took snapshots and put it in another. Yeah, that might yeah. be these here. Yeah, snapshot. So yeah, command shift four, command shift, shift four, four, and then just do that. Takes a picture, and saves it to your desktop. Yeah. And so now by this video, we uh, could uh, detect the. The percentage of the last between different genomes, and at the same time, we can detect the difference of the location of these genes in the genomes using the gene neighborhood, mm -hmm. right? And after that, we will go to another video that uh, how can we uh, construct uh, some uh, kind of easy heat map using the Excel sheet. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.